Another day, another seizure. The truth about feeling like your brain is in a blender. Hello folks, my name is Steve. About 20 years ago, I started experiencing seizures. Today at work, another one hit me like a rock. Ended up in the ER and unbelievable body pain. It seems like they have become more prevalent in the last few years. I do not wish this on anyone. If you have had seizures, please tell us about your experiences. It's just another day, or so it seems. The sun rises, the world hums. Yet there's a lurking presence, always nearby, unpredictable and unnerving. It's a seizure once again, a familiar intruder crashing through the delicate circuitry of the brain. For many who live with epilepsy or other seizure disorders, this cycle becomes an unfortunate routine. It's not just a physical experience, but an emotional and mental upheaval. As if your brain were being tossed into a blender, leaving you dizzy and exhausted by the time it's over. Living with seizures means navigating a reality most people can't quite grasp. While the medical world offers definitions and classifications, they rarely capture the essence of the experience, the sensation of losing control, the fog afterward, or the heavy toll it takes on your mental well-being. Seizures aren't just seizures, the spectrum of experiences. For many, the word seizure conjures up the image of someone shaking uncontrollably. But the truth is far more complex. Seizures come in many forms, and not all of them look like what people imagine. Some people experience absence seizures, where they briefly lose awareness, almost like their mind took a short, unplanned vacation. Others have focal seizures, where only part of the brain is affected, leading to strange sensations, movements, or feelings. Then, there are the more familiar, generalized seizures, like tonic-clonic, which can cause full-body convulsions. These can be violent and terrifying, both for the person experiencing them and those watching, but no matter the type, each seizure leaves its mark like an invisible weight, pulling you down long after the episode has ended. The brain in a blender effect. Describing a seizure can feel like describing the indescribable. One moment, everything is fine. The next, it's as if your brain's wiring has short-circuited, sending electrical chaos in every direction. It can feel like thoughts are chopped into pieces, scrambled together, and lost in the noise. Your senses may warp, sounds may distort, and reality becomes a surreal, fragmented puzzle. And it doesn't end when the seizure does. Postictal confusion, the disorienting foggy state following a seizure can make you feel as if you've been through a blender. Words slip away, memories feel distant, and the simplest tasks can seem impossible. It's not just the body that feels spent, it's the mind too. Even hours after that thick fog can linger, a reminder of the storm you just weathered. The emotional toll of seizures goes beyond the physical exhaustion and mental disarray. It's the weight of unpredictability, never knowing when or where the next seizure will strike. It's the anxiety that creeps in before an important event, the cautious planning to avoid triggers, and the constant awareness of your limitations. Over time, this takes its toll. The cycle of experiencing seizures, recovering, and waiting for the next one can leave you feeling isolated and misunderstood. Friends and family might struggle to understand what you're going through, no matter how many times you try to explain. And then there's the frustration of treatments that may or may not work. Medication, lifestyle changes, surgical interventions. It's a process of trial and error with no guaranteed outcome. The truth about other seizures is that each person's journey is unique. While one person may have infrequent episodes, another might experience multiple seizures a day. Some have auras warning signs that a seizure is about to occur, while others have none. And while some can manage their seizures with medication, others live in the liminal space between hope and resignation as treatments fail to bring complete relief. It's important to remember that no two experiences are the same and comparing your struggle to someone else's can be a slippery slope. What works for one person might not work for another. 
Seizure management is deeply personal and often requires a multifaceted approach, including medical care therapy and a support network. Finding balance amid the chaos is crucial. While seizures may feel like they rob you of control, the reality is that you still have agency over how you respond to the challenges they bring. It's about finding balance, managing the unpredictability while still carving out a fulfilling life. Support from loved ones, medical professionals, and others who understand your journey can make all the difference. Sharing your story, as draining as it may sometimes feel, helps lift the veil of misunderstanding surrounding seizure disorders. By speaking your truth, you invite others to see beyond the surface to understand the complexity of living with seizures. Moving forward one step at a time is essential when living with seizures. It can feel like a relentless journey, but even in the most challenging moments, there's resilience. Your brain may feel like it's been through a blender, but you come out the other side each time. Sometimes scarred, sometimes shaky, but still standing. Each day is a new chance to find ways to cope, heal, and keep moving forward. So when the subsequent seizure comes, and it may, remember that you've survived it before, and you'll survive it again. The truth about seizures may be messy, complicated, and overwhelming, but it's also a testament to your strength. One day at a time, you find your way through the storm, even when it feels like your brain is your is in a blender and that resilience my worst experience was while in Walmart experience a seizure lying on the floor flopping like a fish because of the uncontrolled factor I peed my pants do you think anyone might have had an idea this person was experiencing a seizure well no one did a police officer off came to my rescue called 911 and assisted me till they arrived thank you if you ever experience a person having seizure, call 911 and stay by their side. The emotional support goes a long way. That's something no seizure can take away. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and share it with others. Your support helps us spread awareness and provide more valuable content.